find girls like you always for them. Sex for grades. So what exactly does this mean? So I have to be ugly in order to pass at university? This season has been going on for years. And every single year, every single department, every student student, there's always a story. When I was at university, I was sexually harassed. And I'm not the only one. It's been a problem in West Africa for decades. She's not paying for it. Paying for it with... With our body. For more than a year, BBC Africa Eye has been investigating and secretly filming inside the region's most prestigious universities, the University of Lagos and the University of Ghana. How many guys have today? How many guys today? Nobody wants to listen. Nobody wants to believe victim. It is crazy. I know a lot of people have been abused and nobody is trying to do anything. What does he mean by you are vulnerable because you are fine? That's so, so, so wrong. They need to put a stop to this. I hope these men actually see themselves in these videos and feel ashamed. I hope their families see them and feel ashamed of them. And I hope that they, they get punished for this behavior. well hidden. Yes. Right. Visible. We're good to go then. Yeah. In the University of Lagos, nine months of interviewing current and former students led us to a senior lecturer in the Faculty of Arts, a former sub dean and the head pastor of the local Four Square Gospel Church. His name is Dr. Boniface Igwene. After a number of students alleged Dr. Boniface had abused them, we sent an undercover journalist to meet with him. She posed as a 17-year-old secondary school graduate under the legal age of consent in Lagos State, who wanted admission into the University of Lagos, commonly known as Unilac. He invited her to his office for a number of tutorials. Whenever she was inside, our journalist had a panic button. All right. Justin. Yes, I can hear you. If secretly activated, the rest of our team who were hiding nearby would be alerted and come to the rescue. So sit down. How old are you? 17. I look very big like this. Not long into their first ever meeting, Dr. Boniface began to comment on her appearance. But you know you're a beautiful girl. <laughs> Do you know that? Eh? We are not beautiful. We are very beautiful. We are very beautiful girl. You know I'm a pastor. Do you know I'm a pastor? I know. Good. Do you know? And I'm in my 50s. Okay. okay. What is your view is that even at my age now, you know, yeah. if I want a girl of your age, I'm too old. Yeah. All, all I need is to put some down. Put some down. Okay. Really? Yes. A few days later, Dr. Boniface invited her to a second meeting and asked her to pray with him. But this prayer did not feel normal. It was disturbing. Lord Jesus Christ, confess with Lord Jesus Christ. Accept that you are my Lord and my God. Accept that you are my Lord and my God. Guide me and direct me. Guide me and direct me aright. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Welcome to the kingdom of God. Thank you, sir. Don't worry about this. After promising to help her with admission, towards the end of the meeting, he quizzed her on her sex life. What do you mean by knowing me? I'm just having sex. Look, anything that we discuss, we are sure that your mother will not hear. Okay. And anything that has come between me and you, nobody will hear. Okay. While we were investigating in Nigeria, 
an Africa Eye team was also on the ground at the University of Ghana. Weeks of painstaking interviews with female students led us towards Dr. Paul Kwame Butako from the College of Education. We sent an undercover journalist posing as a final year student interested in doing a master's degree to meet with him. This was only the second time Dr. Butako had invited her to meet with him in private. How many guys have today? Uh, How many guys today? He repeatedly asked if he could become her side guy, which he explained is a second boyfriend. Let it be your side, your side guy. Side guy? No, men have side chicks. University policy forbids lecturers having sexual relationships with students when they are in a position to influence their education or career. Flirtatious behavior is considered misconduct. Maybe you'll be my side, I'll also be your side. Because, I mean, I'm not a man who is not in your country, but my wife is out of the country. Dr. Butako offered her a national service work placement in his department, even though he told her the deadline for applications had passed. No distractions. Your focus is to be on your career. Then they said, we see how best you can also contribute to your career and make you into a better person. So I'm going to be your side, your side guy. Okay. Mm -hmm. no, I'm not giving you trouble. So I'm not giving you trouble. Mm -hmm. I'm not giving you trouble. I'm not being distressing you. Dr. Butako told the BBC he vehemently denies any amorous behavior with our reporter. How can he even deny something that is on camera? Is he saying that is his twin or what? It's so disgraceful. And it's even happening in our top universities like University of Lagos. These lecturers have been getting away with this for years. Nobody has done anything about it. But I'm so happy that BBC have decided to investigate. The full video is on their BBC website. I'm just showing parts of it. Guys, we need to do something about this. Imagine if it were your sister or your daughter. How would you feel? We can't turn a blind eye to this. Anyway, guys, this is where I'm going to end my own commentary for now. Thanks for watching and bye.